So there it go again, 49 to 24. Colorado handles Utah. Colorado surprises everybody. Colorado doesn't need the Cinderella slippers because it went past 12. And guess what? She still had the night and gowned on and still was the flies. Motherfucker in the room. You feel what I'm saying? Eight and two now. What will they say then? What will all the peoples, the naysayers, the squares, the pundits, the ESPN pundits, ABC, the one, two, threes, do, re, me, fa, lo, fa, so. I still see a hollow. Facts. You said it was the worst offseason for any team in college football, Colorado football. You guys said everybody left them. Oh, my gosh. Everybody transferred. We lost Dylan Edwards, Carmani McClain, Xavier Smith, Alton McCaskill, the agent Sean Lewis, the failed coach. What shall we do? It's the worst offseason ever. You goddamn right I'm going to be petty. Bear with me and have yourself several seats. Shut up! Shut your goddamn mouth! Let me flex! Let me flex! We all get the flex, man. You goddamn right. I told you so. Look at that. I told you so. Hold on, man. I feel like a bad motherfucker today. Hold on. We're gonna do this live the right way. I told you all that flexing y'all doing out here, man. All that flexing y'all doing out here. I gotta jump in. And let, let it shout, man. We seen a trash fight yesterday. Shout out to the great Colorado Buffaloes. A garbage fight between Mike Tyson and, and Paul. <laughs> Bro, this was the Tyson and Paul foundation of giving free money away. The Netflix didn't even work. So let me flex, man. Let's get on with this right quick. Boy, it was, a, it was a dog fight. Nah, it wasn't no dog fight. But you got to see a level of, we didn't even have Jimmy Horn with us. You got that man Shepard balling like out of this world. Six foot three, 207 pounds. He, I thought he was going to be a third to fourth round pick in the NFL draft. That man is looking like a second or first pick, bro. When your quarterback is balling like that, having a hell of a year like that, it's supposed to make scouts pay attention. Also, look, look. The ones y'all think it's to help? Spray ballers out here. What you mean, bro? But like, Shepard is going to be playing on Sundays. No ifs and buts about it. Now, I like Jordan Seaton. Jordan Seaton makes certain mistakes during the games, but he always adjusts as a true freshman to adjust. You seen that pivotal assignment that he picked up that opened up the middles, that that gap was already open. That's what she said. But uh, let's keep fast forward. Cash Cleveland. Did it again with his efforts, bro. To be a freshman, walk on, and you playing like that. You're playing like that. I seen Shador through that first interception. Costly mistake. It's not usual for Shador. Not something that's going to drop him down because the, the scouts don't look at their interceptions. What they look at is when you do these mistakes, how do you bounce back? No scouts care about a quarterback who has zero interceptions. Because they go, damn, what happens when he gets an interception in the NFL? How can he react to it? So scouts like looking at some of these guys who have the interceptions. Why do you think Jameis Winston with all the interception in college too, he still got drafted? Because can you be resilient enough? Speaking of resilient, shout out to Utah. Utah was resilient as far as not giving up. They really didn't look at names that they were playing against on paper. They tried to give it all in the field. But it's something about them Buffaloes, bro. When the herds get stamped, no, bro, it's something different, bro. Much love to the faculty and the staffs of that defense we got. Shout out to Robert Livingston and Warren Sapp and all the other great men on that defense. Shout out to guys like Wester, who definitely filled in the shoes of cowards such as Dylan Edwards, who's over there in Kansas right now. He's sitting back. Oh, I would like to go somewhere where it's a winning culture, winning quarterback. Winning. Shut up. Every Johnson is your booty partner. Sit your tail down. Have several seats, nigga. Trying to hear all that, man. You went, wait, you left Boulder to go be somebody else, do boy. You ain't, you don't, you, you, don't, you don't get to come here no more, man. Shut that shit up, man. Damn, Kamani McLean, I love you, bro. 
I, I, I got a, I got a more better heart for you toward, than Dylan Edwards, but only because you a Florida brother. But at the end of the day, my nigga, you got NFL dreams, cause you got family members and people to save and all that. Going to Florida Gators with this garbage administration was your costly mistake, bro. I don't think you a scrub. You gonna be good, but you went to Florida Gators with Billy Napier at the helm with that sorry athletic director for Florida Gators. So even if they fire Billy Napier, you're still stuck with the same trash because the athletic director is still there nigga we got rick george up in this piece bro shout out to my boulder family man i gotta flex right quick we eight and two and it feels true we eight and two and it feels true my son football team just dismantled they rivalries it feels good today on a football saturday it feels good to flex and look at all them bum ass haters and knowing trash like jason whitlock is going to fight and i like you jason but you're trash my nigga i don't sugarcoat it you're trash because of your hatred towards a winning situation going on if Deion Sanders was a few shades brighter, and that team was a different team that was playing like it. You know how you guys are overhyping Tulane, but forgetting that this is Deion's first year in the big boys league, and he's, well, second year in the big boy leagues. His second year, and he's dominating. Hell, even in his first year, I know they won four games only. Look at the games they lost. The games they lost showed you how close it was all year. So that had to make Deion feel like, man, what the hell with these people, bro? We can compete. We can compete. Do you believe or do you want to run away, bro? Bro, like this, this look like the Diddy Shades. <laughs> this look like the Diddy Shades, bro. I ain't lying, bro. But let's fast forward, bro. So where we go from here? Look at some of the garbage games being played today. These are top 10 teams, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody said I'm smoking something else instead of Mary Jane. And now you get to look at I wasn't lying at all. I told y'all that during the second week of college football. These teams are overrated, overranked. You better stick to the true and what we got, which is Colorado Buffalo football, which is a hard fighting football. We don't care about five stars and four stars. We'll take your five stars, but we clearly displayed you could be a one star. We get you going. You you seen Travis Hunter? The interception that Holt, it was a nice assist by Holt. Travis Hunter took that. Hey, the refs are chill, still cheating, bro. I don't care what y'all tell me, bro. I, I don't, You hear my voice sound like it's losing? Travis Hunter on his second touchdown, I'm going to show y'all what. There was missed calls, but I tried to reverse back from just yelling at the refs all the time, right? Even though we're correct. It was one play during the second touchdown where Travis Hunter had to divert from hitting the ref. You know the refs can stand at a certain position, but they have to move out the way. They negated the fact that a lot of people who are petty like me is going to bring are going to bring that up. Because Travis Hunter looked at, gave him a quick look like, nigga, get the fuck out the way, bro. He had to jump to the right and keep it moving. But my mind was like... Damn, what if that oncoming inside linebacker already wrapped him up and tackled him before he got to the end zone? Like, that could have been a costly mistake. It looked like he was deliberately trying to do that, bro. Like, I'm going to play. We're going to go back and watch the tapes. I'm a fair guy. And I'll come back with a new video to let you know if I was wrong or not. But so far, I looked at that play three different times, bro. Maybe I need to look at it at 10 more times. But if it quacks like a duck, then God damn it, it's a duck, man. We can't make no more excuses for that. But let me not harp on the things we know already. We know about the agenda against us, but let's harp on the real one that we got to bring up. ESPN. Are we going to get the same theatrics that y'all give to these other fairy tale schools or whatever? This is Colorado football. You feel me? I want the Hollywood treatments. You got damn right. I want the Disney movies since Disney running your program. I want the corny broadcasters being on their knees like they are for these overrated coaches who fail every year. And every year, these scrub analysts are on their knees for these bum-ass coaches. Sorry, universities. Ohio State play cupcakes every goddamn year. And the only reason I'm rooting for Ohio State a little bit is because they got my dog, Jeremiah Smith. He from the town. You feel me? He from hometown. So they got Jeremiah Smith. That's the only reason. And they got Brandon Innes from American Heritage in Plantation High School. So they got some, some of our boys from Florida for many years. They have the likes of Chris Gamble from Dillard High School. So I, I, I got some mutual respect for Ohio State, but... 
I, hey, we need that Hollywood treatment like you give a lot of these bum schools, man. You got overrated Alabama for this year, they are. Georgia overrated this year, but because of my loyalty to Georgia, I don't go too much in on them. You feel me? Hey, Juju, Juju say he might not co commit to USC. We got happy, and now we see Kirby Smart is in the mix to get Juju. And um, I ain't going to lie, bro. I felt, I felt like if Juju didn't come to us and go to USC... It is what it is. But Juju, don't hurt us going to Georgia. But I wouldn't be mad at you, bro. You're in Georgia. You're playing in Georgia. I respect it, bro. Georgia is a strong team to pull recruits away. But, man, this game was hella entertaining. This game had all the things you wanted. It's just that we seen the BS, too. But we seen we could handle them, bro. Get well soon to that injured young man we got, man. Number 58 going to be all right, man. Nikhil uh, um, Walker. We were praying for you, man. We're praying for your family, man. And everybody know cancer ain't no joke. So definitely get that in the mix of things. We're on the field playing for brothers because this is always going to be bigger than football, deeper than football. But I'm feeling hella nice today. I'm feeling hella cool. feel like I'm on my swag vibes. And this is a Colorado vibes, man. If we're going to have a coach like Prime, you got to... You got to get acclimated, you feel me? You got to get ready for things, man. This was a hard fought. Don't look at the scores and thinking, man, this game was so easy for us. It was a hard fought game that you need to play. I don't want to play no easy games to tell you the truth. It's just that we're so good that we put up the points. We've always put up the points on the scoreboard dating back to last year. They just don't give us our credit. You got a lot of people who are so shocked because their whole narrative, their whole platform on how they make their money it's talking down on Deion Sanders coaching Marys and his credentials, talking down on Colorado's atmosphere that's going down there in Boulder. They're trying to negate the fact that this man is in his second year. He is overwhelmingly defeating all these supposed experienced coaches. He is debunking everything, this myth that you got to be part of the good old boys club to even do well in college football. He did everything his way his type of way, with his vernacular, his intestinal fortitude, you feel, extensional fortitude, whatever you call that, bro, you feel me? I'm feeling my swag, you know, I can mess up the words if I want to, because when you win, that shit don't even matter, gang, you feel what I'm saying, man? We gonna call it like we see it, nothing but scrubs that gotta get drugs, man, they're scrub teams, and they are, Colorado going past everybody right now, and I'm going to be humble. If we do take a loss, then so be it. But the way I feel, I'm going to talk. You guys been talking about y'all teams every year. When y'all teams go 8-2 and two this early, y'all already yapping. When y'all team got a potential to win a conference championship like the Big 12. Nigga, this is the Big 12, a historic conference championship like that. And Coach Prime has the potential. Hell, just going there to play in it during your second year is monumental. And a lot of people don't want to give us credit, but that's all right. What Floyd does when he shake them off, you got you to gotta shake these. I don't call them haters, these demons. You got to shake shake off these wicked demons because they, they procreate and it's a whole lot of them that spawns out of nowhere. They can't stand it, bro. It's like, what should they do to see us lose? They got scandals coming up. Be on the lookout. Oh, yes, these folks got scandals and everything. You better know that. Look, man, I'm DJ Bless when the best one. It was smooth. Smooth. It was Oh, this for Jason Whitlock and Paul Feinbaum and Sean Keeler and all these scrubs. It was smooth. It was. Oh. <laughs>